Today, NASA will land the first rover on Mars in nearly a decade. Perseverance will search for signs of life and help pave the way for human explorers. Joining us now for more on the mission is NASA robotics system engineer Philip Tu. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So it's, the, it's been a while. Tell us what is new and more advanced about this rover. Sure. So whereas previous rovers were, were focused on answering the question, could ancient Mars have supported life? This time around, our rover is actually going to carry special tools and sensors on board that will allow it to directly search for evidence of ancient life. Now that's pretty exciting to me. And on top of that, we're going to be collecting rock and soil samples to bring back home to Earth one day. And to top it all off, we're going to be testing our brand new technologies, including the first ever helicopter on Mars and a new machine that can generate oxygen for future astronauts on Mars to breathe. Wow. And are you landing this thing in a crater? Is that different? What are, what are the challenges of that? Yes, that's right. We're going to be landing this rover in a crater. Uh, it's a slightly more dangerous area compared to past missions, but our rover is also smarter this time around. We're better prepared. Uh, one thing is that we have this new technology on board called Turing Relative Navigation. It's going to actually let the rover open its eyes and look at the ground beneath it as it's coming in and, and trying to land. So if the rover sees that it's flying towards an area, say, uh, about to crash into a mountain, it could change its path to go and land somewhere safer instead. Didn't they, in the past, uh, they could tip over or sometimes you lost communication and they got stuck. I'm assuming that it's much more advanced now and they're not going to get stuck like they used to, right? That's right. Yeah, so actually on this mission, I work on the uh, aut uh, autonomous navigation system, which is pretty much going to let this rover act like a self-driving car on Mars. So we have a lot more smarts in the rover this time around. The rover is going to be able to uh, see what's around it and make more intelligent decisions as to what's safe and what is not safe. And are you also searching for sounds? What would the point of that be? That's right, yes. One of the neat things about this mission is that we're going to have a microphone on board. So for the first, first time, we're going to be able to hear what Mars sounds like. Uh, this is going to be a brand new way to just experience, for people to be able to experience Mars. And, you know, we're, 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 we're not really sure what we're going to find. We're, 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 there's going to be a lot of things that we could hear. We can listen to um, what the rover sounds, what, what Mars sounds like when you drive across it. We can listen to the Martian breeze. We can, there's so many things that that we can experience right, with another one of our senses. So is the, the data comes back instantly or and how long does this thing stay active? Sure. So the data comes back uh, about in 11 minutes. It takes radio signals about 11 minutes to go from Mars to Earth and also 11 minutes to go to other brain as well. Our rover is going to be uh, on its mission for uh, one Martian year, which is about two Earth years. Wow. wow. And so all this is, uh, the, it's all happening at what o'clock? Oh, is it one o'clock our time? That's right. The, uh, let's see, there's going to be a live broadcast of the landing events starting at 1.15 p.m. Central Time. All right. Wonderful. Well, Philip, thanks for the update. And all right. Thanks for having me. Good luck to you. Thanks so much for joining us. There's uh, the information. Uh, for more information, you go to mars.nasa.gov, and you can watch the landing online <coughs> starting at 1.15 our time. Have a good day. Okay. Bye. I have a feeling Philip did much better on the Wonderlick test than yeah, any of us. Yeah, perhaps here. so. <laughs> That's a guarantee. <laughs> yeah. Those are not accurate or reliable. I